Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Tuesday, November 15th, 2022. The tarot card for today is the Empress, and today's Empress is from the Disney Villains Tarot, which of course is available commercially. If you own even one tarot deck, then you are probably familiar with the Empress and the various meanings which are attached to her. But, you know, I, I gotta say this, right? It's for a Tuesday, which I always think of as a work day for most people. So, you know, the conversations about mother, daughter, BFF, cousin, you know, sister and all that. Do they apply? They could, you know, in some way, shape or form. You could, you know, have a connection with a female today. Um, we do see Mother Earth represented here and also pregnancy. But, but the one which to me, you know, when things really come to some sort of fruition is abundance, right? Where is your abundance? Well, let me tell you, that's where we start looking, you know, when we try to see what's going on today that the universe wants us to know about. And we don't have to look too, too far, all right? We have a trine between Venus and and Jupiter. And I'm going to come back to that in a moment because I want to speak about the moon. I don't want to forget it. It is in Leo today and it's going to make two aspects. One is a square with Uranus, which is in Taurus, and an opposition with Saturn, which is in Aquarius. And, you know, they're both a little more on the tense side. So behaviors may not be at their best from some people. And, you know, people start acting a little quirky, a little eccentric. You just never know. And be careful around the home, you know, when it comes to, you know, conversations that you're having. And try to avoid any drama there. So let's talk about Jupiter for a moment. The giver of gifts and good luck and good fortune and all of that. Yesterday, Jupiter hit the 28 degree mark, which is where it will station direct. So it's in that powerful, what I like to call, full-on Oprah mode, okay? You know, you get a gift, you get a gift, you get a gift. That kind of a thing going on here. All right, so it's at that 28-degree mark, and it will be going direct on November 23rd, minutes after the new moon in Sagittarius. That's going to be some guidance you're going to want to listen to. Now, Venus, of course, is today... At the 28th degree of Scorpio, a sign which blends so nicely with Pisces. Yeah, Venus might not like being in Scorpio, but let me tell you, this is a powerful transit which is taking place. And, you know, depending upon what the Scorpio and Pisces energies represent for you, yeah, let's just see where those blessings and abundance are coming in. Certainly this is good news after recent weeks. I know eclipse season is not over with yet, but we are past that heavy duty time frame that we were in. And for so many of you and, and those who listen to me when I talk long term and do, you know, lengthy readings, you understand that, you know, there's <laughs> been a, a a whole lot of stuff going on for how many months. And this past month or so has been pretty intense. And that is all starting to shift away gradually. It doesn't mean we aren't going to have any intense aspects. But this is a positive one. And this is the turning point right here today of the month where the energies are coming in. And starting to show you that the universe does have your back. And things actually can improve. Not necessarily on all fronts, but... Yeah. Now, another thing I want to tell you to be on the lookout for is my December Love and Finance, because you're wanna, going to want to hear all about December, and it will be available. I thought it would be on Instagram, but unfortunately, it only seems to have the first 15 minutes there, but you can find it on YouTube and the Podbean app or any of your favorite podcast providers. So, enjoy. Whatever the abundance is which is coming your way 
today. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.